Think. Well, I don't want to sound like a homer, but Team USA is absolutely loaded. Ball is in the air, and we are underway. Koa Pete, team captain for Team USA, gets possession initially. And Peterson back over to Pete. Little crossover into the lane. Hesitation off the glass, and it falls in. USA with an early 2-0 lead on the nice drive by Koa Pete. Quinones in the front court. Right side now to Hidalgo. He gives it up left side. Vincent Stewart Jr. Now back out to Hidalgo. He launches the three. That's no good. Rebounded by A.J. Levanza. Nice pass from Dibanza inside to, I believe that was Darren Peterson, and he goes off the glass for an early 4-0 lead. Holly D asks in the chat, what state am I from? I won't make any jokes about being from the state of denial or the state of intoxication or anything like that. I am from the great state of Illinois. And I haven't played basketball in a number of years. Football, American football, was more my sport. Pass left side to Dibanza. His jumper misses, rebound back, tapped, and then controlled by Peterson off the glass and in. Darren Peterson left off. One of the national teams last year, and he was none too happy about it. And so he went into camp a week or so ago with the mentality that there's a whole bunch of guys competing for 11 spots because I have spot number one. He was not going to be denied. Nice defense by Puerto Rico, and Vincent Stewart comes up with the two-hand dunk. in favor of Team USA. Now three-pointer missing at the other end. Running for it under the basket. Cameron Boozer. Tie-up gets called, and it's going to be Team Puerto Rico ball on the alternating possession arrow. Alexander Montes to inbound, but first, a timeout on the floor as Team USA has the early 6-2 lead. You get a look right into your screen or mobile device. Um, Two-hand stuff there. As we mentioned, a couple of games already in the books. Group B play started this morning. Team Canada came back and defeated the Dominican Republic 63-57. And then Brazil took down Uruguay 83-55. not mention the head coach for Team Puerto Rico and in Santiago One of the legends of Puerto Rico basketball <laughs> Paul E.D. asks me can I admit LeBron is better than Jordan I grew up on the south side of Chicago I watched Jordan in his prime you will never get me to admit that <laughs> goaltend. And you can do a goaltend to an extent in FIBA play. It's got to hit the rim first before you can wipe it out of there. You can't just jump up and 
knock it out before the ball touches anything. So that's a goaltend, and it's a 6-4 lead for Team USA. Really a steal in the backcourt. Finally corralled by Cam Boozer. An offensive foul called. And sometimes we see this in international play, especially with Team USA, especially at the younger levels. Not quite used to the international game. And so there's, there's some issues early. Typically, Team USA pulls it together and pulls it out. That three-pointer is up and good. J.J. Mandekwit, one of the more underrated players, unnoticed. Puerto Rico finally gets the bucket on the fadeaway from about 14 feet. That was Felipe Quinones. Three-point attempt is no good by A.J. Davanza, but he does get fouled on the attempt, so he'll go to the free throw line for three free throws. Another comment in the YouTube stream, and I admit that Clay Thompson is better than Steph Curry. This is about going to be the last one of these that I'll do because we could do this all night long. Who's better than who? I don't think I'm going to say that uh, Clay is better than Steph. I think Steph is probably a top 15 player all time. Eleven six in favor of Team USA. Now that was a clean take off the rim and leads to an open three-point attempt for Kenyonis and that is up and good. 11-9 Puerto Rico down by two. AM Cubes in the chat says shout out to coach Fitch. He's his coach. Scott Fitch, one of the assistants for Team USA. Helping Shaman White out. Backcourt pressure by Team USA. Nice feed underneath the bucket as Vincent Stewart goes up and gets his second dunk of the game. And it's 13-11 with 5.36 to play in this first quarter. Another timeout on the floor as we get to watch another up-close and personal dunk by... Actually, that was the block. There's the dunk by Mr. Stewart. He had his 16th birthday yesterday, so he's got himself a couple of gifts in this one. I don't know if the U16 Asian Championships will have commentators as well. I would assume they would, but I don't know. Blitz Gaming wants to know who is the Filipino-American player on Team USA. That's J.J. Mandiquit, a 16-year-old from Hilo, Hawaii, playing at Real Salt Lake Academy in suburban Salt Lake City in Utah. J.J.'s had offers from a number of schools, Chaminade, Portland, Hawaii, Washington State, Stanford, and Utah State. It's one of those guys who kind of has been flying under the radar. He made a name for himself at the tryout camp and got named to Team USA. now to Koa Pete. Aiden Boozer into the game now running the point. 
<laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that in a game before. Felipe Quinones pushes his teammate on the defense to get out and guard the point. Here's Pete on the drive. He does not get the shot off. That will not count. And a shot clock violation for Team USA. And Puerto Rico with a chance to tie it up. Coming up on five minutes to play in this first quarter, Team USA got out to a decent lead early, but now Puerto Rico is on top. Following the three-point bucket by Felipe Quinones, the 15-year-old was the Central Basket U15 Tournament MVP, and he gives Puerto Rico a one-point lead at 14-13. Answering at the other end, however, is Jaden Quaintance. 15 years old and six foot ten. <laughs> the Vikings fan asks. <laughs> like Dale Earnhardt Sr. or Jeff Gordon. <laughs> That's the wrong sport here, partner. Steal, here comes Hayden Boozer. His shot was blocked, but a foul called. There was no contact with the ball made by Alexander Bontez. That was, was all foul there. And the free throw is up and good for Caden Boozer. Caden, of course, one of the twin sons of NBA All-Star Carlos Boozer, national champ with Duke. in the backcourt by Team USA. That ball was tipped. Well, that sure looked like one of the Puerto Rican defenders went up through the cylinder to block that. And now the pass for the cherry-picking Vincent Stewart was a little bit too far. And that's going to be another turnover. Don't forget to like us on YouTube. See the U16 Americas. Share that stream with fellow basketball fans. And for additional content, check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Next Gen Hoops. Kick out into the corner. That three by Caleb Hope was no good. Rebound tracked down by Tyron Stokes. Three pointer missed. Court. Santiago's shot is blocked by Caden Boozer. Get some folks talking about JJ Barea in the chat. Need a legend in Puerto Rico. There's a veteran point guard playing. It's actually just in Belgium, but another national team member, Angel Rodriguez. Reminds me very much of JJ Barrea, not quite as skilled as the legend JJ. Still pretty darn good. Carlos 
Boya. Also very good. Inbound to Quaintus. It's back outside, and now here's Hamboozer. Shot won't go, but he'll go to the free throw line for a pair. Just inside three minutes to play in this first quarter. So glad you can be with us wherever you're tuned in from. Around the Americas or around the world, you are watching the 2023 FIBA Americas U16 Boys Championship Tournament. Eight teams in this tournament. Second free throw no good, and it's a 17-14 for Team USA. Teams that qualified, USA, Canada, Brazil, Argentina, Uruguay, Puerto Rico, Mexico, and Dominican Republic. We've got one more game coming up after this one. At 7 o'clock local time, 9 o'clock Eastern time in the U.S. between Argentina and Mexico. The host nation in these FIBA tournaments always plays the final game of the day. Oh, and the alley-oop dunk to Tyron Stokes. He gets up there and flushes it home. The ball fakes there, and Darren Peterson says, that doesn't impress me much. And now another alley-oop dunk to Tyron Stokes. My goodness, and look at the excitement on that young man's face. And the bench is up for Team USA, and Aiden Santiago wants timeout. His team had the lead. Now all of a sudden, with 2.22 to play in the first, they find themselves down seven points. An 8-0 run by Team USA following that three-pointer by Felipe Quinones. And Team USA now on top by seven. <laughs> the chat lit up after those back-to-back alley-oop dunks. Jesus Gonzalez watching from Cleveland, Ohio. Hello, Jesus. Why don't you give us a shout out where you're watching from? Yeah, you can't rest for one moment. I'm not saying that's what Puerto Rico did once they got that one-point lead. But all of a sudden, Team USA rips off eight straight points. Somebody watching from Australia, Miami, Puerto Rico, Deltona, Florida. Antonio, cheers, San Justino Coto from Puerto Rico. <laughs> Didn't I say my favorite college was Michigan? I don't think I said that, no. Watching from New York, Dayton, Ohio, California, North Carolina. Kingston, Ontario. Cambridge in the UK. Question asked, is this the final or semi-final? Uh, this is neither. This is the opening game of group play in Group A for both of these teams. Somebody asked, has J.J. Mandiquit played? Yes, he's played. Scored a three-point bucket earlier on. I do have to admit, my favorite college... have not traditionally been a basketball power for men. They have had some good teams over the years. They've been a tremendous women's powerhouse. But my 
favorite college, University of Notre Dame in South Bend, Indiana. This time it's Darren Peterson going up and hammering it home with two hands. 23-15. Foul called against Richard. Rosa. Check my notes and make sure that something didn't get mistranslated because there's a player on another roster whose last name is Rojo. I wanted to make sure that my, my roster program didn't change Rojo to Rosa. Not buying that we have a viewer on Mars. Maybe gullible, but I'm not that gullible. Uh, Julian, there's only two groups in this tournament. Cleverly named Group A and Group B. Puerto Rico instead into the front court and then stepping on the sideline for a turnover. We're inside of a minute to play in this first quarter. A 12 1 run for Team USA. Puerto Rico had the lead at part of the 12-2 run. No, oh, I was right, 12-1. <laughs> Math was never my strong suit, that's why I'm in broadcasting. Seven on the shot clock. Into the corner for Isaiah Harwell. Loses his footing, kick out, three on the way. Just off. Offensive rebound, though. All getting tipped all over the place. And Team USA unable to convert. Shot clock is off. Game clock now at 10. Here's Rosa driving on Harwell into the corner. Now the baseline drive, a little pull up. High arcing shot, no good. Rebound grabbed by Koa Pete. And the first quarter will end with Team USA on top by the score of 25-15. A 12-1 run to end the quarter by Team USA. And they head into the second frame up by 10. We are back in just a moment live from Poliform Zamna in Meridian, Mexico. This is the 2023 FIBA Americas U16 Boys Championship. We're back in just a moment.
Welcome back to 2023 FIBA U16, FIBA Americas U16 Boys Championship Tournament. Team USA leading 25-15 after one quarter of play over Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico took a 14-13 lead midway through the first quarter, but Team USA ended up the quarter on a 12-1 run. As we look at some of the individual numbers on this game. Only two players have scored for Puerto Rico. Felipe Quinones has six. Vincent Stewart has nine. Stewart also has six rebounds in this game already. For Team USA, pretty balanced. AJ DeMonza, two points. Two rebounds, two assists. JJ Manica, three points. Koa Pete has six. Darren Peterson has four. Caden Boozer, one. Cameron Boozer, three. Cam Boozer has four rebounds to lead Team USA. Jaden Quintance has four, and Tyron Stokes has two. Puerto Rico, 10 turnovers in that first quarter. And now Team USA up by a dozen. Once again, my name is Craig Feta. So glad you can be with us wherever you're tuned in from around the world. Team USA misses the easy layup, but then there for the putback, Aaron Peterson. And it's a little bit different of a broadcast here, monitoring the chat on the YouTube stream. USA misses the alley-oop dunk there. The pass from J.J. Mandic, which is a little bit too far behind. Go ahead and give us a big hello wherever you're watching from on the YouTube stream. Give us that thumbs up on YouTube as well. Like and share. The stream on the socials and use the hashtag FIBAU16Americas. You can also follow us for additional content. Next Gen Hoops on Facebook and Instagram. And for all the official tournament stats, videos, photos, head to the tournament website, FIBA.basketball slash Americas slash U16 slash 2023. from Newfoundland in Canada, Hilo, Hawaii, hometown of J.J. Mandiquit. That three is up and good. one run from Team USA for that three-point bucket. Wow, a soaring tip in there by Brandon McCoy. In amongst the trees. McCoy at six foot four. Jumps up and tips that one in. Very athletic play by that youngster. Brandon McCoy from St. John Bosco High School in Oakland. Got offers from UCLA, Arizona State, Louisville, Oregon, and Washington. Bob Cousy is not playing in this game. I don't think he meets the 16 and under age requirement. That three is up and good. Felipe Quinones again from long distance. And he's 
got Puerto Rico back to within 12. He's got 12 points in this game. Just under six and a half minutes to play in the second quarter. Darren Peterson banks that one in, and Peterson now is five. on the drive, tries to whip the pass out. Mason Santiago ends up with it. Quinones gets it back, finally misses from three-point range, but Justin Roman gets the rebound. Now Quinones, ooh, looked like he had that right foot on the line. And an offensive foul called on Quinones. Asking to put in Jalen Montanati. I'm sure we'll see him soon. Three pointer missed by Brandon McCoy. Yunus for Puerto Rico, 4 of 5 from three point range. The rest of the team 0 for 3. And another turnover for Puerto Rico. I believe that was their 15th of the game so far. USA up by 15. 36 21, halfway through the second quarter. Two games already in the books in this tournament on the opening day of play. Canada came back to defeat Dominican Republic 63 57, and Brazil down to Uruguay 83 55.
Once again, if you're just joining us, feel free to give us a shout out in the chat wherever you're watching from on the YouTube stream. Give us a thumbs up. We've got 300 likes on this game already. And we get to 500. There's Jalen Montanati. We've been asking for him to get in the game. Jalen gets in and splashes that three pointer. Tries to answer at the other end. Richard Rosa missed the three. Got the follow, missed that as well. Now the outlet pass to Caden Boozer. Alexander Montez pulls out the rebound inside four minutes to play. Team USA up by 17. Five and a reach in foul committed by Jaden Point. Both of these teams back in action tomorrow and Wednesday before the rest day on Thursday. Tomorrow, Team USA takes on Argentina. And Puerto Rico will take on host Mexico. Oh, nice find underneath in the reverse layup. Mason Santiago goes reverse off of the pretty dish. And that gets Puerto Rico back to within 15 at 38-23. Got a question in the chat. Who is the leading scorer in the game? That is Felipe Quinones at 12 points on 4-5 three-point shooting. Jump hook by Vincent Stewart. Beg your pardon, that was Quinones. That's his first two pointer of the game, and he's got 14. Inside three minutes to play now in this first half. So if Pete misses the three pointer, but therefore the rebound is Montanati. The USA with another look at it. The Euro into the lane by Boozer. Kick out now to Cameron Boozer. Touch on the jumper, but it just would not fall. Cameron Boozer, the number one recruit. A perfect 100 recruiting score as a sophomore. Gatorade National Player of the Year, the top overall recruit in 2025. Wow, there's Cameron soaring in. Stuffing that one home with two hands. Questions about Kamai Samuels on Team Canada. I haven't had a chance to see him yet. As Cameron Boozer scores again, it's now a 42 28 lead with a minute 40 to play here in this second quarter. That three pointer for Puerto Rico is up and good. That time it was Rogi Santo, uh, Santiago, I should say. Nice catch and shoot by Darren Peterson that time. Coming up on one minute to play in this second quarter. One more game on tap tonight. Argentina and host nation Mexico. Always fun to watch the home nation in action as Darren Peterson stuffs home two more. Peterson now with 
13 points, six of seven from the floor. Julian asks, what's Team USA's three-point percentage? In this game, they are two for 13 for 15.4%. They finally get it in. Santiago now gives it up. Little floater there. Nice finish. As Puerto Rico draws to within 13. A five seconds difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Peterson into the corner, and J.J. Mandekwood stepped on the sideline before he got possession of that ball. Shot clock should be off, it's showing eight. Puerto Rico gets possession with 13 on the game clock. Puerto Rico finally into the front court. Five left on the clock. And Puerto Rico will retain possession. Get it off. He did, but they're going to say no baskets. Didn't go in anyway, but it wouldn't have counted. And so Team USA will take a 46 33 lead into the locker room at halftime. On the strength of a huge run to finish out the second quarter, or rather the first quarter, when extending into the second quarter. USA outscored Puerto Rico 21-18 in that second quarter as we look at some of the team numbers on this one. Team scores. Take a look at all of the individual numbers on this one for Team Puerto Rico. Agni Santiago, six points. Felipe Quinones at 12. He also had two rebounds, two assists, but five turnovers. Mason Santiago, two points. And Vincent Stewart had 13 on Six of ten shooting. He also had seven rebounds. Puerto Rico attempted only two free throws in that first half. They committed 16 turnovers overall. For Team USA, Cameron Boozer, five points, five rebounds. A pair of steals. AJ Devonsa, six points. JJ Mandiquit, three. Oh, Pete had eight points, three rebounds. Darren Peterson. 13 points on six of seven shooting. He also added four rebounds and a pair of assists. Hayden Boozer had one. Jalen Montanati had two. Jaden Quintance had six. Along with three rebounds. And Tyron Stokes had two. A lot of good stuff from Team USA in that first half. Some pretty good stuff at times as well from Team Puerto Rico. Once they took that 14-13 lead, though, in the first quarter, which kind of when Team USA woke up a little bit and went on that run. 
Once again, my name's Craig Fett. I hope you've been enjoying this broadcast so far. It's not your traditional kind of broadcast. We're interacting on the YouTube chat. As many folks as we can. Just ask everybody to keep it cordial. Have a good time throughout the rest of this one. Argentina, Mexico coming up. At 7 o'clock local time, 9 o'clock on the East Coast in the U.S. I will have that game for you as well. But right now, we are going to step away for a few minutes as we await the start of the third quarter between Team USA and Team Puerto Rico. You are watching the 2023 FIBA Americas U16 Championship Tournament. Like and share us on the socials. Use the hashtag FIBA U16 Americas. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at NextGen Hoops. Back in a moment, live from Meridian, very dominant city in Mexico.
Welcome back to Polyforum Zamna in Meridan, Mexico, on the Yucatan Peninsula. It's the opening match for Team USA and Team Puerto Rico in this 2023 FIBA Americas U16 Boys Championship Tournament. Team USA leading after one half of play, 46-33. My name's Craig Feta. Hope you've been enjoying this one so far. A lot of action in that first half. Some pretty good shooting on the outside by Puerto Rico. Some fantastic play on the inside by Team USA. Those of you watching on YouTube, Appreciate all the comments in the stream. We're going to try to answer as many questions and interact as much as we can. Not a traditional play-by-play -play style of broadcast. Try to get as many folks involved as possible. Team USA scores the first bucket of the second half. On the YouTube stream, give us a shout out wherever you're watching from around the Americas or around the world. You can like our feed. We're almost to 400 likes on the YouTube stream right now. Let's see if we can get to 500 on this game. We're at 399 now. We've got about 3,600 people watching. This one live from Mexico. Love to see us hit 500 likes. Don't forget for additional content, you can follow at Next Gen Hoops on Facebook and Instagram as that three pointer rains down from Cameron Boozer. Watching from New Zealand. The island of Nevis in the Caribbean. Canton, Ohio. Tampa, Florida. Ball might have been tipped. Got some folks watching in Puerto Rico. Vincent Stewart blocked that shot for Puerto Rico. Left hand layup high off the glass by Felipe Quinones. It's 51 35. When you share us on the socials, use the hashtag FIBAU16Americas. Forget to subscribe to FIBA the basketball channel on YouTube. Search all the games in this tournament. Just search FIBA U16 Americas. And for all the official tournament content, including news, scores, highlights, photos, check out the official tournament website, FIBA.basketball slash America slash U16 slash. 2023. Kipsy, New York. You for Georgia. You can find the game stats by going to the official tournament website and then clicking on the game in the banner at the top that shows what the current score is. That'll bring up the official stat page. And find folks at FIBA, as always. They stay right on top of every stat. So it is just about in real time. Three throws miss. 
Puerto Rico's deficit remains 18 points. Ooh, a little spin there by Peterson off the glass and in. My goodness, what a play by Darren Peterson. Somebody watching in New Jersey. I understand there's friendly rivalries in the Americas and all over the world. We just ask that everybody stay respectful and friendly to each other on the YouTube chat. Cameron Boozer there for the putback. Not many free throws shot in this game, just four by Puerto Rico and just 12 by Team USA. Nice play there by Koa Pete to wipe it off the rim. That's legal and feeble play. Cameron Boozer now with 10 points on four of eight shooting. He's also got nine rebounds. Predictions on the FIBA World Cup later this summer. Man. I'm not as familiar with some of the Asian teams. Obviously, Team USA is going to be a favorite for gold, Spain, France. Serbia. I mean, there's just teams that, if they play well for a couple of weeks straight, they can contend, but Team USA is always going to be the team to beat. I also did a bunch of games in LBA Serie A in Italy. They've got excellent players there. I do love the international game. To be perfectly honest with you, I don't watch a lot of NBA or, or college basketball. I much prefer the international game. I do a lot more broadcasting of the international game than I do of the American game. I think the Americans tend to rely on their athleticism and their interior play, especially when they're playing against smaller countries, which of course you would want to do because you have that advantage. But I think the international game, it's a lot more intricate on the offensive end. I think you see more players with better ball skills typically than you see in American basketball. But it's hard to say when you put Team USA against any other team in the world that Team USA isn't going to be the favorite. asking me if I like the Heat or the Nuggets in the NBA Finals. I think I like Denver. Although Jimmy Butler being a former Bull, of course. Let's see him pull off the upset win. Offensive rebound pulled down by Vincent Stewart. He goes up with the right hand and flips it in. Nicely done by the young man who just turned 16 yesterday. Puerto Rico down 21, 61, 40. Answering at the other end. 
Caleb Holt. And timeout on the floor with 3.42 to play in this third quarter. First three points of the tournament for Caleb Holt. And he puts Team USA back up by 24. Santiago takes timeout. Let's take a look at the stat sheet here. Cameron Boozer, 10 points, nine rebounds for Team USA. Caleb Holt, three. Aaron Peterson has 19, a nine of 11 shooting. He's also got six rebounds and three assists. Jaden Quinton's four points. Three boards. Teron Stokes, two points. Three rebounds, four assists. Hayden Boozer, one point. DJ Devonsa, ten points, five rebounds, three assists. JJ Mendick with three points. Jalen Montanati has two, and Koa Pete has ten points and six rebounds. For Puerto Rico. Felipe Quinones has 14 points on 5 of 10 shooting. Three rebounds, two dimes. Mason Santiago, two points. Rodney Santiago has nine. And Vincent Stewart has 15 points to go along with nine rebounds. A lot of folks clamoring for Jalen Montanati in the chat. I have nothing to do with it. I'm just the broadcaster <laughs> telling me to put him in. A lot of folks must be watching in Owasso, Oklahoma. Jalen Montanati, the number 13 recruit overall in the ESPN 2026 list. 18 points per game as a freshman. Coached by his father, Brian. He was running a camp while Jalen was trying out for this team. He said that running that camp helped him to not be quite so nervous and have his mind on what Jalen was doing all day, every day. from Bill Self in Kansas. I've seen a couple of mentions of the 3x3 game. Had a chance to call the FIBA Americas championship in Miami in December, the 3x3 tournament. My partner Victor Mansoura and I did, I think, 48 games over three days. That is a fun format. If you have not watched FIBA 3x3 play, it is an absolute blast. And Richard Rosa steps on the sideline, caught by the sideline official. Once again, our officials for this game, Andres Bartel of Uruguay, Sebastian Negron of Chile, and Cooper Toppings of Canada. If you have not already, and you are watching on the YouTube screen, go ahead and give us a like. We're trying to get to 500 on this game. We're at 463. If we get to 500, maybe I'll maybe I'll sing a tune or something. No, no, just kidding. We won't do that. Won't subject you to that. But I will express my eternal gratitude for getting us to 500 likes. Nearly 4,300 people watching this game live from Meridan, Mexico at Poliforum Zamna. 
Hope you're enjoying this one. It's a big Team USA lead with a minute 35 to play in this third quarter, 66-45. My name is Craig Feta, and if you're expecting a traditional play-by-play -play broadcast, well, that's not what this is. We've got the YouTube stream going, trying to call the game and interact with as many fans as possible. Hope everybody's having a good time watching the game and commenting. Once again, just ask that everybody keep it friendly and respectful. I understand there's some rivalries between nations and even states and cities, but just keep it friendly. Remember, these are kids playing this game right now. Freshman, sophomore age in high school, playing for their country. A lot of them playing in a big international tournament for the first time. And now Team USA again up by 20. Stokes gets it back. He launches the three. That is straight through. Pretty stroke there by Tyron Stokes. And it's a 23-point lead with just about one minute to play. Stokes now with five points. Somebody mentioned in the chat that they can dunk. I can dunk too. Typically, it's an Oreo and a glass of milk. Three from the corner by Hayden Boozer, no good. We are winding down this third period of play. Baseline jumper missed. Stokes the rebound. Elevates, gets it to Harwell. Now the kick out. Game clock down to three. Jumper no good. And the third quarter will come to an end with Team USA on top by the score of 69 46. One more quarter to play in this opener for both teams in the 2023 FIBA Americas. U16 Championship Tournament. We are back with fourth quarter action.
aim for Team USA and Team Puerto Rico in the 2023 FIBA America's U16 Boys Championship Tournament. My name is Craig Fata. Hope you've been enjoying this one so far. 69-46 after three quarters. Puerto Rico actually took a lead in the first quarter in this one, but it's been all Team USA since then. As we look at some of the numbers on this one. For Puerto Rico, Felipe Quinones, 14 points, three rebounds. Romney Santiago, 12 points. Vincent Stewart Jr., 17 points, 10 rebounds. Alexander Montes has one point and six rebounds. Richard Rosa, beg your pardon, he has not scored, but he does have three boards, two assists, and Mason Santiago, two points. 14 USA, Cameron Boozer, 10 points, nine rebounds. AJ Divanza, 10 points, five boards, three assists. JJ Mandiquip, three points. Koa Peak has 10 and six rebounds. Aaron Peterson, 19 points on 9 of 12 shooting. He's also got 6 rebounds and 3 assists. Caden Boozer has 3. Caleb Holt has 3. Jalen Montanati has 2. Jaden Quaintance has 4. And Teron Stokes has 5 points, 4 rebounds, and 5 assists. Team USA... 47.6% from the floor, 58% from two-point range, just five of 20 from three, six of 14 from the free throw line heading into the fourth quarter. Puerto Rico, 32.7% from the floor overall, 26% from two-point range, nine of 18 from three-point range. And perhaps the most important statistic in this one, we're at 542 likes. <laughs> so thanks everybody for tuning into this one here on the YouTube stream on FIBA the Basketball Channel. Don't forget to subscribe for content from all over the world on YouTube, the Basketball Channel on FIBA. Share it with your basketball loving friends. 3,700 people watching now. We had almost 4,500 at one point. It's so glad to see we're up to almost 550 of those thumbs up. We definitely appreciate that. For all the official tournament information, including stats, stories, videos, pictures, Anything else you can imagine, go to the official tournament website, FIBA.basketball slash America slash U16 slash 2023. And for additional content focusing on the youth game, you can follow us at Next Gen Hoops on Facebook and Instagram. When you share us on the socials, use the hashtag FIBA U16 Americas. 23 point lead for Team USA. Don't forget, give us a shout out. Wherever you're watching from in the YouTube chat. As Communis hits another three pointer, he's got 20. That gives him game high honors. Beg your pardon, Darren Peterson has 22. Apologize to Darren Peterson and any of his friends or family that may be watching. find underneath for an easy dunk for Koa Pete and Edin Santiago wants time out. Looks like his team is 
standing around defensively right now with a 22 point deficit and hitting Santiago who's been around the international game a long time is going to tell his young team I don't care what the score is you play hard until the final whistle no matter what the outcome's going to be. Somebody asked me, what's my Twitter? I honestly couldn't tell you. I haven't been on Twitter, I don't know, since about 2016 or 17. Lots of turnovers by Team Puerto Rico. You would expect that in youth game. These guys just aren't going to be as adept at handling the ball as you see at the senior levels. That's definitely something that Puerto Rico has to cut down on. 19 turnovers overall in this game. Team USA, not much better. They've got 14. Two games already in the books. In Group B play today, Canada defeated Dominican Republic 63-57. Canada had to come back in that one. And Brazil down Uruguay 83-55. One more game after this one. Hope you tune back in. It's going to be Argentina and the host nation, Mexico. No, I don't think I'll be giving out my phone number <laughs> on the YouTube chat. Could say something like 8675309. Vincent Stewart can't corral the pass. Skitters out of bounds, it'll be Team USA ball. <laughs> I'm not on Instagram either. Sorry, can't give out that. I'm just not on there. I'm I'm too old. I'm too old to be on Instagram, quite frankly. I tried to get on Instagram once, but they kicked me off when they saw how old I was. So I'm relegated to a couple of the other social media platforms that uh, tolerate people my age. So this is the first day of play. We've got three consecutive days of play. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Off day is Thursday. Then Friday is the quarterfinals. And then Saturday is going to be the semi-final and reclassification day. And then the finals and fifth and eighth place games, or fifth and seventh place games, I should say, will be on Sunday, June 11th. The winners of the quarterfinals, in other words, the four teams that advance to the semis, will automatically qualify to the 2024 U-17 World Cup. So four of the eight teams in this tournament will be going to, I believe that one's going to be in Turkey next year. Again, we definitely appreciate all the comments on the YouTube stream. Nice little give underneath. AJ DeBonsa with the pretty feed. 
leads to the easy dunk. I believe that was Tyron's Oaks. That's Stewart Jr. now with a double-double. A couple of those in the game. Cam Boozer, 10 points, 11 boards. For Team USA, and now Vincent Stewart Jr., 18 points and 11 rebounds. That goes off the hands of Jaden Quaintance. And again, we see a lot of balls go off of guys' hands in this game. And that's something that these younger players will learn to develop as well. I mean, they've been playing basketball pretty much their whole lives. But it's that difference between having your hands at your waist and having your hands at chest level. When that ball gets there, you don't have to move it, you just catch it. And so as these guys get a little bit older, you'll see those passes not deflect off their hands out of bounds. Let's a look at Sharmon White, the coach for Team USA. Skip pass blocked out of bounds and last touch by Puerto Rico. And that'll be Team USA ball, 542 to play in this game. Holy Pete, we're up to almost 600 likes now, 598. Maybe I will sing a song if you guys get us over 600. No, 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 I'm not going to sing. Yeah, we just hit 600. No, I'm not going to sing. <laughs> but we sure do appreciate all the engagement. Don't forget to share this with your basketball-loving friends and use the hashtag FIBAU16Americas. We share FIBA the basketball channel. Additional content specifically around the youth game. Follow us at Next Gen Hoops on Facebook and Instagram. No, Julianne, I'm not going to sing. <laughs> Five minutes to play in the fourth quarter. 24-point lead for Team USA. I don't know. Maybe if there's a way to uh, to send me money over over YouTube, I'll, I'll belt out a few lines. <laughs> no, don't spam the likes. I'm not gonna say. Believe me. <laughs> Holy cow, we're up to 631 now. <laughs> Back outside to Caleb Holt. Holt gets it back, launches the three. Front iron, no. Rebound, Judah Hidalgo. And again, if you are expecting a traditional play-by-play -play broadcast. This is a youth tournament, so we're doing it a little differently, interacting a little bit more on the YouTube chat and a standard play-by-play -play and color analysis type broadcast, so. saying, hey, Mr. Commentator, Craig, how come you're not talking more about the game? Well, that's why. So 4.25 to play. Eddie Santiago takes time out. There you see the really the difference. Team USA with a 48-20 advantage on points in the paint. And Team USA just so much bigger. The biggest player on Team Puerto Rico is James Rivera, six foot eleven, but he's only fourteen years old. Team 
Team USA has a number of players at 6, 7, and above, including Jaden Quintus at 6, 10, who's only 15. Chat just going crazy for Jalen Montanati. You guys have to realize I don't I don't pick who plays in this game. I just I just announce it and talk with you all. Jason Fuentes. I won't go. Call called on the rebound by Fuentes. I think Brandon McCoy has played in this game. I've seen a couple of folks ask for him as well. He's played three minutes and three seconds in this one. throw rattles in and again we ask people to just keep it respectful in the YouTube chat just remember these are kids playing this game a lot of them in a big international tournament for the first time their friends and their families are watching and seeing some of this chat let's respect what these kids are doing playing for their countries at Caleb Holt, and this is the second free throw. Rebound underneath by Quintus. Here you get a look at 14-year-old James Rivera, six foot 11. First free throw rolls in for Quintus. Second free throw, no. Miles Quintus at six foot one goes in among the trees to pull down that rebound. Inside four minutes to play in this fourth quarter. Samir Leon asks, where are they playing? They are in the Holy Forum Zamna in Meridan, Mexico. Now a three from the corner, just short. As Tyron Stokes goes up once again and absolutely wrecks it. Oh, a little hesitation move there. Miles Fuentes. Stop and go. That was off the three. Don't forget, we've got one more game after this one. Starting at 6.30 local time, 8.30 on the East Coast in the U.S. Oh, my goodness. That would have been a highlight for the ages for Caleb Holt. That would have been a Dominique Wilkins-esque tip dunk coming in from the side. But 
it's going to be Argentina and Mexico coming up after this one. As the free throw falls in for Caden Boozer. If you're a casual follower of basketball in the USA, you may not know some of these younger players, but Caden Boozer, twin brother of Cameron Boozer on Team USA. They are the twin sons of former NBA standout and national champion at Duke, Carlos Boozer. That Boozer name sounds a little familiar. We're going to have one more familiar sounding name in the next game between Argentina and Mexico as Tomas Scola plays for Team Argentina, son of future FIBA Hall of Famer Luis Scola. Had a chance to call a number of his games in Mexico City in 2015. Just an absolute legend. Coming up on two minutes to play, Team USA by 30. Miles Fuentes from the corner for three. No. Tomorrow's games, the early Group B games, it's going to be Brazil and Dominican Republic. 12.30 local time, then Canada and Uruguay at 3 o'clock local time. I'll have the two night games between USA and Argentina and Mexico and Puerto Rico. is going to have the early games tomorrow. We carried the early games today. Did a great job on those. Block shot by Jaden Quaintance. Oh, what body control by Caden Boozer. Inside of 90 seconds to play on the clock. USA by 30. That's Team USA going for their eighth gold medal in eight attempts in this tournament. minute now. It's about 4,000 people watching right now. 664 likes on the YouTube chat. Thank you so much, everybody. Really appreciate all the engagement. Watching from all over the USA. Caribbean, Puerto Rico, of course. There he is, Jalen Montanati hitting for three. That's going to make the chat go crazy. <laughs> Coming up on 10 seconds to play, shot clock at five, little feet underneath. Now the long three pointer off the glass, no. Rebound tipped. And Team USA. It's going to run the clock out. 96-61 the final. Team USA gets off to a huge start in this tournament. Going for their eighth gold medal in eight attempts. And they take down Puerto Rico in game number three on the day. Let's 
take a look at the final numbers on this one. Team USA shot 50.1% from the floor. They were 5 of 20 from three-point range, 25%. 7 of 16 from the free throw line. Puerto Rico, 33.9% overall from the floor. 11 of 21 from beyond the arc, 52.4%. 3 of 8 from the free throw line. Team USA with the advantage in most of the statistics with Darren Peterson leading the way at 22 points. Let's run down all of the numbers on this one. For Puerto Rico, Miles Fuentes, three points, three rebounds. Mason Santiago, two points, three boards, two assists. Alexander Montez, 1.6 rebounds. Felipe Quinones, 20 points on 7 of 13 shooting. He was 6 of 7 from 3-point range, but 1 of 6 from 2-point range. He also added 3 rebounds, 2 assists. Rugby Santiago, 12 points. And Vincent Stewart Jr., 18 points, 11 rebounds. Team USA, Caden Boozer, three points, one rebound, two assists. Cameron Boozer, 10 points, 11 boards. AJ Devonza, 10 points, five rebounds, three assists. Jaden Quaintance, four points, four rebounds. Tyron Stokes, seven points and six assists, as well as four rebounds. Caleb Holt had three. JJ Mandiquit had five. Also had two assists, two rebounds. Jalen Montanati had two points and two rebounds. Koa Pete had 14 points on seven of 11 shooting. He added seven rebounds and three assists. And Darren Peterson led the way with 22 points on nine of 12 shooting. He also had six points, rather six rebounds and five assists. We finished off with 692 likes. If you haven't liked the stream yet, go ahead and throw us one. Maybe we can get to 700. We sure appreciate all the engagement we had on our YouTube stream. Don't forget for additional content, follow us at Next Gen Hoops on Facebook and Instagram. And for all the official tournament information, stats, statistics, stats and statistics. Go figure, right? <laughs> Pictures and video, as well as game recaps. FIBA.basketball slash America slash U16 slash 2023. My name's Craig Fada. Once again, so long for now. Thanks for watching. We are back in just a little bit, right here live from Holy Forum Zamna in Meridan, Mexico, for Argentina and the host nation Mexico. Team USA back in action tomorrow against Argentina. That game will start at 6.30 local time, 8.30 on the East Coast. Thanks again for watching, everybody. So long for now.